Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you about uh, a new library, a new uh, Toast Alert library of ViaChairs. Basically this library allows you to create this awesome little success Toast messages inside your ViaChairs application. So all these custom alert messages you will now see notification messages that appear inside your applications. You can even create multi-line messages as well with custom icons as well. You can see success icon. This is a success message. You can also have custom themes as well. You can apply custom CSS. So you can also place it at various locations at uh, the bottom right corner or top left corner. Anywhere position you can place these icons totally depends upon you. You can also have emojis inside this. You can see this is an emoji here. You can place any emoji of your choice. So we will be looking at how to create this awesome little custom post notification messages inside your ReactJS application. So the library that we are using for this is React Hot Toast. So here you just need to type for this library on Google React Hot Toast. This is the library here. Basically it has its own website here which allows a great documentation is given here and uh, you can now see this is a success multi-line promise based dark mode you can even use it with tailwind css so i think it's a very good toast notification library for react.js application um, basically if you go to npmjs.com and just search for this library which is react hot toast the very first link which comes in this is the react notifications library and the nice thing about it, it's very lightweight in size and you can see almost 313,000 weekly downloads are there. So many developers are using this notification library, Toast notification library. If you're watching it for the very first time guys, then please hit the like button, subscribe the channel as well. Let me show you how to now do this inside your ReactJS application. For Doing this guys, I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website codingsixture.com so I will give the source code, basically you can get the full source code in the live chat, so I have given the full source code guys in the live chat, you can get all the source code. So now let me, first of all inside your command line you just need to execute this command which is uh, npmi react hot toast. So if you install this using this command, it will automatically get installed. So now you need to go to your editor. Basically, we will now create the libraries. Sorry, we will create the example. Step by step, I will show you how to do this. So simply delete all this code now. We will have a functional component, basically app. We are exporting this. If you now refresh it, you will now see app. Basically, app will be shown here. So this is, we are starting it from scratch. So the very first line we need to import this library here guys in the import statement. So we will simply import toast comma and then we also need to import the toaster library which comes from react dash hot, hot toast. So this is the actual library we are importing these two things here which is toast and toaster. Toaster is kind of a container. Basically here inside this we will have a simple button here you will simply say that show alert so basically we will be building, uh, building a on click so when we click this button what will happen so we will be showing the alert message so right here so we will have a simple method here which will be show alert which will be responsible for showing the post, post notification message so now you can call this say hello world that's it so now basically if you click this button guys nothing happens because we need to place the container inside the html this is a poster tag so right here you need to call this like this it will be an empty tag here it will be holding the toast notification if you refresh it now you will see your notification will be showing here which is hello world so basically it will not go away Basically, these are all the default options which comes in. You can even customize this. Basically, now let's suppose you want to show a success message. So there is a success method here. So now this is a success message. 
So in various situations of the application, you want to show a success message with this icon here. You can now see this is a success message. So you can show the success message in your application. Similarly, you can even show error message as well. There is an error method here. So basically, this is it. This is an error message. So now if you click this button, this is an error message. This icon will be there. You can now see this cross icon. So basically, this, these icons are very much important whenever you are doing some kind of form validation inside your application. These notification messages are very much important. And then it also takes the second parameter, guys. This is an object. Basically, here you can put the position wherever you want to place the toast notification. So six positions are supported. First of all, the top left, top center, top right, bottom left, bottom center and bottom right. So if I put here top center, it will now place it in the center of the screen. If I place it in the top left, basically it will place it in the top left position. If I place it like top right, now it will be appearing it in the top right section of the screen. So if you see here, in the top right section, you will now see. All the positions are supported guys. If you put here bottom left, it will be appearing in the bottom left position. You can now see. If I put here bottom center, it will be appearing in the bottom center position. So any position you can target it, it totally depends upon your own application, which position you need to say. You can also have bottom right as well, like this. So this is all the position guys. So this is a position attribute you can put here. The second attribute is the, you can even have an icon as well. You can provide a custom icon to it. Let's suppose you want to provide an emoji. Any icons you can search on internet. Let's suppose emoji icons. So you can go to this website, get emojis, any emojis that you want. Simply copy this icon and simply paste it inside single quotes. So this is your custom icon now. If you click it, nothing will happen. Now you can see that. This is the icon which is displaying it here. Guys, you can see that. This is the emoji which is showing here. Any emoji, you can copy paste it. It totally depends upon you inside this icon field. So this is the option it takes here. And also if you want to, let's suppose, style this toast message if you are not satisfied with the default styling you cannot even have a style object so just put a comma and basically you can have a style object here and basically you can provide any property here let's suppose you want to change the border radius all the css properties are supported if you want to make it circular let's suppose i border radius 50 pixel and let me change the position to again top center So if you're watching it for the very first time, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel. So now you can see it changes to a circular way. You can now see, we can even change to 100 pixel as well. So it will change to a circle so like this. So you can customize these properties guys accordingly if you have. And then you can even change the background color as well. To let's suppose uh, black color. The text color we can change it to white. So now you can see it's a custom alert message that we are showing here. This is the emoji icon, this is black background color and the color text color is white. So you can just put a style object and also customize these alert messages with your own custom CSS. So it's I think it's a very good post notification library guys. I think it basically uh, covers all the concept if you want to style with your own custom CSS you can pu put it inside different kinds of position you can place it at any position on the screen top left top center top right bottom left bottom center bottom right and also I think you can even provide a theme as well there is also a theme property as well icon theme so you can even change the color of the icon as well. So there is a primary and the secondary option. 
so you can even change the icon color as well like this and uh, let's suppose you want to make a multi-line button multi-line alert so many applications show multi-line alert message so for multi-line there will be let me run a different function which is multi line alert so now you will create this function which is multi line alert so basically inside this alert message guys we will be showing uh, multiple lines so basically it would be a very long message so you can see it's a very long message with video let me copy paste the full message So it will contain multiple lines as supposed to a single message. You can even show that also. You can see we have put here this new line character here multiple times. So basically it, it is a multi-line multi alert notification. And also guys we also inside this object you can even provide a property of duration. How many seconds the alert message should dis display before it moves away. I will provide here 2000 millisecond so it's equal to 2 second if you see here now this will be appearing for 2 seconds and then it will go away like this so you can see it contains multiple lines here you can now see this is so this is multiple alert message guys multiple line alert message you can also put here 500 so it will only appear for a half a second if I put here 1000 it will only appear for one second then it will go away so you can just put uh, you can say guys you can control all the properties here to totally depends upon you how you need to control it you can see that and in the same way you can even create a custom alert message as well let's suppose you want to have your own cross button all that stuff let me show you how to do that also so custom toast so basically here we can bind a on click here and basically we can have custom toast so if you're watching it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel so here basically we can simply have a custom toast here for the custom toast basically here we can call toast and here we will be having the time period t second and here we can have a simple html here span tag custom and bold so you can surround it with b tag then we can have a simple html button to dismiss the alert message so here you can simply say when we click this message we can say toast dot dismiss that's it t dot id that's it and also you can place this at any position so position can be at uh, let's suppose top right so now if you click this button guys you will now see your custom alert message custom bold if you click this message dismiss it will go away now you can see so this is the overall example guys of this nice little post alert message library of react chairs react hot toast we have seen all the examples in a very detailed manner if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well if you have any sort of uh, doubts you can hit the like button subscribe to this channel your true inspiration of mine love you so thank you very much Anil Bham, for watching this tutorial so in this tutorial we have looked at guys the notification library of react chairs in order to create these beautiful alert toast notification messages you can appear it at different positions so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel as well